YouTube, so I just came back from fishing. And in this bucket, uh, I bought some minnows. So I'll show you guys the minnows. There they are. All oh, three swim minnows. So I'm going to take some out. I didn't use all of them, so here we go. These are hard to get. I get to be careful. Minnows, uh, like, here's a whole bunch of minnows. Um, oh. I'm not going to say it here too long because it's free, windy, freezing. So here's the bit from minnows. So I will get this one. Uh, this guy, they're all the same minnows. I got a bait shop today when I was going to fish. Minnows are a really good re resource for bait. If you want to catch your own, you can. They're really e super easy to catch. So let me zoom in for you guys. And get the minnow close up. So here is one minnow. Uh, they have flat heads, I think. And they do stay alive for like a few days or a few hours, but not too long. Here, oh, I just had a big one. Oh, yeah, here it is. I'm trying. There's one big one in here, guys. That I was gonna show you. Uh, let me find them. Here they are. Yes, got them. Here's one of the big minnows I had in my hand. This water is really freezing. It's like, I'm, you don't know, I have no idea how cold it is and how cold my hand is. So, this guy's like probably one of the big few big ones. Um, And these are really good bait if you're hunting panther, little bass, or any big predator, super predator. So, and I'll try to show you how you guys can hook it. There are a few different ways to hook these <laughs> minnows. So these are really good to keep in ponds, your backyard pond, if you want to catch them again. And see, they all school together. So, and if you want at bay shops, when you get minnows, um, you get it and they let you get this bucket. And then they scoop a few minnows for you. So. Hopefully you guys like the video and comment and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.